Hi, my name is Aidan Gardil. I'm a physics graduate student at UW-Madison doing research about light. I'm also an artist, and in front of me are my most recent works of art, which all use the polarization of light to create portraits. But you can't really see them right now. That's because I need to move this polarized filter in front of the camera. Now you should be able to see the art and its vibrant colors. These portraits are of three professors at the University of Wisconsin-Madison who all use light and optics in their research. So let's learn about the polarization of light and find out how you can explore the science behind these portraits in your own home. Light acts like a wave. You can think of it like a piece of rope or string that's oscillating or wiggling in some direction. Now, most sources of light, the sun, any light bulb, will emit light that is oscillating in all directions. This is called unpolarized light. But we can use something called a polarizer or polarized filter to only let one direction of the oscillation through, or essentially, polarize the light. Here I have a piece of polarizing filter, and right now the light passing through it to my eyes is polarized. But I don't see anything special happening, and that's because my eyes can't really distinguish the polarization of light. Let me now take a second polarizer and put it in front of the other one. If I rotate it, we can see something really interesting happening. This first polarizer sending polarized light through it that's polarized vertically, up and down. And so this second polarizer is either letting all that light through, if we align that polarization with the polarized light coming through, or it's blocking all of it if we rotate it 90 degrees and they're perpendicular to each other. You can use these polarizers to investigate devices that give off light around your home. For example, here's my laptop, and I can take my polarizer and rotate it and see that it blocks some of the light from my laptop screen, meaning that my, my laptop is giving off polarized light. Try using a polarizer to see what in your own home might give off polarized light. And on a piece of paper, make a list of what light source you tried and if it was polarized or not. Next, let's explore some different materials and how they interact with light. Here I'm going to take some cellophane, which is often used for wrapping gifts. I'm going to place it in front of this polarizer, and specifically I'm going to put it at about a 45 degree angle. I found that that works best for these demonstrations. And next, I'm going to put this other polarizing filter in front of it. What do you see? It's turned blue. We've turned this transparent material into a blue material. So, what is happening? Well, cellophane has a really interesting property, where different colors of light travel through the cellophane at different speeds, which effectively separates the colors of that light. So we can take white light, which is composed of all the visible colors, and pass it through a polarizer so that it's polarized white light, and send it through our cellophane, which then separates the colors and we can use our polarizer to pick out one of those colors. So as you just saw, I was able to pick out the blue color from the white light passing through the cellophane. This diagram shows that if I rotate the second polarizer by 90 degrees, I can pick out a different color, a yellowish color. If you tried this activity at home, you might see some different colors depending on what kind of cellophane you use. Other materials have this property as well. Here's some packaging tape put between two pieces of polarizer. This envelope with a clear section, has a bit of a yellow hue to it. Even this plastic takeout container shows some really interesting colors from all the rainbow, especially around the fringes where the plastic is really bent. Just like before, you should write down a list of the materials you tested and then your observations. Did it reveal a color? What color did it reveal? Or did it just have no effect? The best materials that work for this are clear plastic-like materials. 
Now let's take our piece of cellophane again, put it between two polarizers, and I can see it's blue. What happens if I put a second piece of cellophane between them? If I place it in this direction, I see a light magenta color. But if I rotate it by about 90 degrees, I can actually cancel out the effect of the first polarizer. I can then experiment with this and put another layer of cellophane and see what color that makes. And I could keep going and going. And you should do the same. You should experiment with more layers of cellophane. Just like before, make another list of your observations. Put down how many layers of cellophane you have and what color you see or any other observations you make. Here are just three and I can make a yellow color, a magenta, and a blue. Now our last activity is we're going to cut the cellophane into shapes and either glue them with a glue stick or just apply a little bit of water between the cellophane and the bottom polarizer to stick them together. And with this, we can make some art on the piece of polarizer that's invisible unless you view it with a second polarizer. Now remember, before you cut out your shape, check with your viewing polarizer, that second polarizer, that your orientation of your cellophane gives you the color that you want. For me, I like orienting my cellophane at about 45 degrees with respect to the polarizer filter to give me this blue color. Once you're ready, you can start cutting out your cellophane in any shape you want. Here's my example where I've cut out a first layer in the shape of a house and then added squares and rectangles as a second layer to give a different color for the windows and door. However you choose to do your project, you will have a piece of art that is invisible to anyone without a second polarizer. And this is the same way that I make my art out of polarized light. You have all the knowledge and tools now to go and make your own portraits out of polarized light. I hope you enjoyed learning about the polarization of light and exploring materials in your own home that gave off polarized light or interacted with polarized light in really interesting ways. And I hope you were able to make a really exciting piece of invisible artwork, similar to the artwork I have in front of me with the cellophane and polarized filters.